The race to the moon became a symbol of the Cold War and the heroism of America's astronauts in venturing into that void is too often forgotten. This program reminds us of their bravery. The mission had been a success, but Al wasn't quite done. There was one parting moonshot he wanted to make. Okay, Houston, to my left hand, I have a little white pellet that's familiar to millions of Americans. Uh, drop it down. So I'm going to try a little sand trap shot here. That looked like a slice to me, Al. Miles and miles and miles. Maybe Al Shepard will tell us for the first time what, what the brand of that golf ball was he hit on the moon. <laughs> nice try, nice try, John. Yeah, but I think the real, the real thing is the, the truth of how far it went. We yeah. get all different stories yeah, about that. Crew of injuries is leaving Farmaro Base. Roger, uh, Al, yeah. you had done a great job. And uh, with this closeout, Al Shepard, uh, not age uh, two score in seven years, becomes the undisputed leader in time spent walking, uh, working on the moon. When we left the moon, and that's such a beautiful sight where you're coming up off the moon and you're going so fast. I mean, it is so beautiful. And I said, Al, have you got something prophetic to say? And he looked over at me and he said, Stu, you know me better than that. And that's typical Al. <laughs> One of the moments which I shall never forget occurred three weeks after the return from the moon. My father and I were just having a little brandy in the living room. And out of the blue, he said, do you remember when you first called us back in 1959 and said you were going to become an astronaut? I said, yes, sir. And he said, do you remember what I said? I said, yes, sir, I certainly do. You were not in favor of it. And he raised his glass and said, I was wrong. That's all he had to say. Here to accept from Moonshot are supervising producer John Savage, director Kurt Wolfinger, and the first American in space, Alan Shepard. Right before we came up, Al said he needed a few minutes to visit the men's room, and I said, no way. <laughs> There's so many people to thank, and as so many people have before me thanked members of their team, I'd like to thank mine, and if you please stand, Rush DeNoyer, Donna Ray Warren, Sarah Karouche, Amy Young, Anna Pavlukas, and my friend and partner, David Hoffman. I'd like to thank the folks at Turner as well. First and foremost, Michael Reagan, the president of Turner Publishing, for having the vision to know a good story when he saw one and get the book Moonshot. Pat Mitchell and uh, Vivian Schiller, my friend and colleague John Savage, who, who said he didn't really have a lot to say, which is a first. But most of all, it's an honor to share the stage, not only with the other winners, but with Alan Shepard. Uh, thank you, Kirk. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am happy that John Savage from Turner is here today, as well as Kirk, because it proves that with a dedicated producer and a talented director and a little bit of makeup, that even a broken down fighter pilot can look good. On behalf of my colleagues who participated in one of men's greatest adventures, landing on the moon, I want to thank the PBD committee for recognizing Moonshot here today.
Thank you.